Hey guys, I'm here today with a video I'm so excited to film and it is a declutter. I have not done one of these videos in so long. I feel like that is one of the start started things that I did on my channel at the very beginning. And I've been doing some decluttering and usually I do it just small amounts here and there and I give it away so I don't ever film it or if it's a little bit better then I'll do like a makeup sale and stuff like that. And I do have some stuff I had pulled for a makeup sale, but this is stuff that is pretty much going in the trash. So let's get started. I have been working on decluttering my nail polish a lot. So I'm going to save those for the end because I feel like maybe everybody isn't into a nail polish declutter. But some of you may be. Okay, first off, I have my... I'm going to go ahead and get a Target bag here to put it in. My Buxom White Russian Lip Gloss. This is so old. I don't even want to tell you how old it is. It still smells good. I love the color. I have Blushing Margarita, which is similar, not an exact dupe. But the next time Ulta or Sephora does these lip glosses for $10, which they do, they've done a few times, I will definitely pick another one up because it is a really good nude gloss. Okay, Revlon Color Burst Lacquer Balm in Ingenue. And this is a really pretty color. It's not quite that dark on the lips. But it just isn't, you know, I don't put it on and love it. A lot of this is lip products because I went through my lip drawers and I swatched almost every lip product I own except for my MAC lipsticks. I haven't gone back and done that. And I was just hardcore. If I didn't love it, then I'm getting rid of it. Okay, I have quite a few of these um, Revlon lip butters. I, I might have one left. I might have got rid of all of them because I've had them since pretty much they came out. So, Berry Smoothie. This is my second one of Berry Smoothie. Let me see if I have the other. No, I, it was like one of my favorite everyday lip colors for the longest time. It was the first darker lip shade I ever wore and just loved. I mean, it's a really pretty color, but it's just old. Red Velvet, another pretty color that I did like in the fall and winter, but I'm not somebody that wears a lot of dark lips anyways, so I only need like one or two. Okay, Pink Trifle. This I picked up when those bl pinky brown shades were all the rage like two or three falls ago. They're still popular. And then Macaroon, it was I think like a UK exclusive. I don't know. I probably ordered it on eBay or Amazon. It's kind of like that pink truffle. Okay. I have two of the um, Maybelline Color Whispers. I do love these, but they're old as well. This one pains me to get rid of. Lust for Blush. It is such a perfect pinky nude everyday shade. But it's old. Like old, old. And then Coral Ambition, I used to, it did not apply on the lips quite this bright, but I used to be obsessed with these pastel peachy shades, and it's just, it's time for it to go. Okay, speaking of pastel peachy shades, the NYX Butter Gloss in Apple Strudel, not a bad color, a little brighter than I like, and it is old. Okay, Maybelline Matte in Lust for Blush, this is not that old. I mean, it's getting there. It still smells fine. It smells like Play-Doh, which is wonderful to me. But it's just not a shade I wear. Lovely formula, though. Okay. This little dude. The Tom Ford Lips and Boys in Bow. I, um, I used a good bit of it. Like, the whole logo is worn off. But it smells bad. When his lipsticks go bad, you can tell smells bad. That is good though. Um, that means they're not full of tons of preservatives, I guess. Okay. Maybelline Baby Lips Do Dr. Rescue in Just Peachy. This is a really pretty peachy shade, but it's old and it has that menthol smell that I just don't love. Okay. Dose of Colors. I think, I, I think I've ended up getting rid of both of these. This is Truffle and it's not a bad color, 
but I went through my liquid lipsticks in shades and I swatched all of them and I think I only kept as far as like these kind of shades I picked out one I liked I think Kat Von D Lolita I know it's like so popular and so many people love it but I don't like it on me Lime Crime Cashmere once again it's old and I feel like these liquid type products you need to use them sooner I can't remember which liquid lipstick I kept that was in this kind of um, color family. Okay, Guerlain Gloss in 463. It's really pretty, but it's just old. And I don't like these like higher end lip products that keep that floral smell. I don't like that. Okay, I think these are the last of these Maybelline Elixirs in Petal Plush and I'm Blushing just old they were good drugstore glosses but but you see how much I'm getting rid of and I still have plenty okay this pains me it's a Dior gloss in spring ball it's pretty don't get me wrong it's not bad for one I don't really like the brush applicators I like a doe foot but I had multiple dupes that I do reach for more often so that's why I'm getting rid of that Okay, Sonia Cook, Sonia Kashuk lip liner in maple, fine, but I have a million like that, not really, and I um 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 I don't use lip liners that much. ColourPop lippy stick in Bound, I used to really like this, but I don't know if it's changed on me or what. Maybe my pigmentation or coloring is off, but I don't like it on me anymore. Okay, Physician's Formula Eyeliner in Nude Eyes. It's just kind of dry. Makeup Forever 3C Lip Liner. Honestly, this is not, um, I'm going to put it in my makeup cell. That does not need to be purged. Wet and, Wi Wet and Wild Mega Liner in Voltage Blue. I picked this up because my daughter, her school colors, Royal Blue is one. But this is not really royal blue, and I thought, oh, I can use it to do stuff on her face for game days or something, but I've had it for a while, and we've never used it, so. Okay. CoverGirl Lip Liner in Passion. I have had this a while because I thought, you know, it's good to have a red lip liner. But I don't wear red all that often, and you can get away with wearing, like, a matte coral as your lip liner when you wear red. Because you just really want to outline the lips so it doesn't, you know, bleed. And so I just, you know, I don't need it. Boots number seven, nude lip liner. I picked this up a long time ago because supposedly Lisa Eldridge formulated this or came up with the color or something. And while that's fine and dandy, I just don't use it. Physician's Formula, another nude eyes. It came in like a set of three. Okay, and then a Sephora lip liner in native nude. I don't know why I got rid of this. That's such a pretty color. I think I'm going to put that back in my lip liner. So, okay. And that is all for the makeup. So now I have nail polish, which I'm trying to purge a bunch of nail polish this year. And so I've been going through my polishes and wearing a different color. Oh, one more uh, makeup item. And if I don't like it, I purge it. I, you know, it's not that big of a deal. It's just nail polish. If it's not perfect, get rid of it. And then I also went through because most of the nail polish brands now have changed to like the three free, five free, whatever. And I had some OPIs and Essies that I know were pre the three free. And that's been a long time, which that's fine if they still operate well. It doesn't matter how old it is, but I don't want to be using the ones that have those harmful chemicals in it. So, but the last makeup item is Narsin. This is old, old, old. And while I like it, it was just, it's time to let go. Okay, so without further ado, nail polishes. And if I can remember why I'm purging it, I'll tell you. OPI, my Chihuahua Bites. It was pre Big Three. Big Three. Um, OPI, Lincoln Park After Dark. Pre Big Three, Big Five, whatever. I do love it and I will repurchase this for sure. I'm just, I want to get rid of the, um, 
harmful version. OPI Cajun Shrimp, same thing. That and my, my Chihuahua Bites are really similar, so I need to honestly look through what I have before I get rid of that and see if I have a dupe for it. OPI Strawberry Margarita, I will definitely repurchase this. Good color, it's just, you know, that formula. Okay, and OPI Passion for New York Fashion. I doubt I'll repurchase this. I did really like it, but it's the old formula as well. Okay. Um, OPI Here Today, Aragon Tomorrow. It's just a really dark green that I just didn't love. OPI Don't Touch My Tutu. I have a bunch of white type colors I like better. Another white type color. This is Zoya Jacqueline. I like it, but it has like a bit of a yellow tint. So it just kind of has that like older white look. And I didn't love it. Okay, another old formula. OPI U Rockapulco, Rockapulco Red. Loved this. I don't know if they still make it. If they do, I would definitely pick it up. Because I did really like that color. Old formula though. Um, one more old one. OPI Fryer Fire Pants on Fire. It is a really shimmery, glowy red with a warm undertone. Really pretty though. But I, as far as the tones, I'd rather have the U Rockapoco Red. And then OPI Pirouette My Whistle. I just don't, I'm not going to wear that. Okay, now let's get into some Essies. And some of these are because they're the old formula, but I don't remember which ones. Um, for the twill of it, I just don't love that. I think this is an old formula. Jaguar. Turquoise and Caicos. It's just not my favorite of these shades. Old formula, I believe. Wild Thing. This is really pretty. My older daughter would be so mad if she saw me getting rid of it. <laughs> and Splash of Grenadine. I don't love that shade on me. Okay. A few China Glaze. This is called It's Alive. It's like a Halloween one. And, I mean, let's be real. It's kind of ugly. <laughs> Ravishing Darling. I think this was an old formula. Moody Blue. This is an old formula for sure. Groovy Green, an old formula. And for Audrey, this one, uh, I just don't love this shade. It's kind of like turquoise and Caicos. I just, I don't know. I just don't love that particular shade on me. I'd rather wear like a baby blue or a mint green. Okay, Color Club London Calling. I just don't, I have a lot of those shades. Zoya Noel. I did like this once upon a time, but I didn't like it the last time I wore it. Maybelline Autumn Leaves. I picked this up because I saw on something people were talking about it being such a great color, and it just didn't wow me. Maybelline Twilight Rays. Kind of like that. It's alive. It's not really pretty. And then Sally Hansen Butterscotch. It's kind of like the Yummy Yam shade, but I like Yummy Yam a lot more, so I'm getting rid of this. So, that is all I'm decluttering right now, and it feels so good. So, I feel like you might start seeing a few more of these this year, because it's easy for me to just, like, put a bag in the corner of my bathroom and put stuff in, and then when it's full, I can do a declutter. And, like I said, if it's stuff I'm giving away to somebody... I'll give it to them. If it's stuff I'm going to sell, I'll put it somewhere else. This is stuff that's just like garbage. Garbage worthy. That's so mean, but okay. So anyways, that is all for this. I hope you really enjoyed it. Um, it's kind of fun to film and declutter again. So thanks for watching. Bye.